Okay, this is step number two. This is the smooth, smooth Intense Ultimate Straight Boosting Preconditioner. Now, I have not had any prior experience with a preconditioner, so I wasn't sure what the purpose of it was. I'm still not entirely sure, but I have noticed a difference um, when I have skipped this and went straight to the conditioner. I did notice a difference in how smooth my hair was. So I'm guessing this is like to keep it even smoother and more straight. Now this, I don't use a lot of it even though my hair is really thick and it's below my shoulder because I don't think you need a lot. So this is how it looks. The color is white. It's a bit, I want to say, thicker than the shampoo. Not paste-like, but I do, do see a difference in consistency. It smells, I want to say clean. It doesn't have like a fruity smell or floral or anything like that, which I like. I like the smell of clean. Neither the shampoo, the shampoo actually has a, I want to say a stronger fragrance, but not that much. So it's not like so overwhelming that you won't like using it. So this is number two. This is actually about how much I use in all the videos that you'll see for these. That's an approximate of what I will use for my hair when I use it. Again, I don't use much. I don't think you need it, but I guess it depends on how much you want it. The thing about this one is that you don't wash it off. You leave it on for like a minute and then you apply the conditioner. I was almost I almost washed it off and I actually haven't tried what happens if I wash it off and then use a conditioner. I may try it later tonight. But um, yes, you don't wash it off, then you put the conditioner on. So we'll go to the conditioner.